Every day, thousands of pens are bought, sold, and used. In a mere second, a staggering 300 pens are sold worldwide. To meet these enormous demand, millions of pens are manufactured each day. BIC is one of the many companies meeting this demand. But how are BIC pens made? Let's visit their factory to find out. The story begins with the inventor of the pen, Marcel Louis Beach, feeling unsatisfied with the speed and efficiency of pens and pencils for writing quickly. He aimed to create a more effective tool for writing his reports. In 1938, inspiration struck when he observed how a wet ball left a mark as it rolled over a puddle. This observation sparked the idea for the ballpoint pen. Eventually, he figured out how to store ink in a compact device that could flow smoothly when writing, without any messy spills. In 1951, industrial inventor Marcel Biche popularized the patent by creating a similar design under the brand Beck. Marcel aimed to make the invention as affordable as possible. Before him, pens were priced around $70, but he successfully reduced the cost to just $2, making it accessible to people with limited resources. After that, he continued to lower the price even further until it became one of the cheapest pens on the market. Thanks to its low cost and high quality, the fame of this pen quickly spread worldwide. So much so that today, the company has approximately 25 factories worldwide, where billions of pens are produced each year. To visit the Big Pen factory, we have to travel to Paris, the capital of France, where the main headquarters of Bic is located. Established in 1950, the company's unique vision of the pen quickly captured a large part of the market. Over the years, the company has already produced over 110 billion units. The key to producing the perfect pen lies in the small metal ball at the tip. The role of this ball is to control the flow of fluid when the pen is not in use. It seals the liquid ink inside. When in use, the ball rotates smoothly, transferring just the right amount of ink to the paper, ensuring precise and consistent writing. The production of big pens starts with the creation of the metal ball, resembling a tiny sphere. These balls, measuring just one millimeter in diameter, are crafted from tungsten carbide, an exceptionally durable material known to be 10 times stronger than steel. In theory, these pens could last a lifetime due to the durability of their materials. However, once the ink runs dry, they are typically discarded. The tungsten carbide used in their manufacturing is so exceptionally hard and resistant that it's also utilized in the military industry to manufacture anti-armor ammunition. The tungsten carbide balls, barely one millimeter in diameter, are manufactured by subjecting a fine powder to heat and enormous pressure in a machine called a compressor. However, despite this rigorous process, the resulting balls are not smooth or perfectly spherical. To attain the required dimensions and geometries, the balls undergo a polishing process. They are placed into a polisher, resembling a rotating drum. Within this drum, the balls are combined with lubricating oil and a paste containing diamond powder. Pen manufacturers must ensure that all balls meet stringent quality standards. Samples are taken from each batch to inspect and identify any potential defects. If more than one ball out of every 5,000 is found to be flawed, the entire batch is promptly withdrawn and discarded. This rigorous quality control process ensures that only the highest quality components are used in the production of big pens. The metal balls that pass the quality assessment are ready to be assembled within a socket known as the tip. This component, which encases the ball, is crafted by stamping a piece of stainless steel. It's crucial for the ball to snugly fit into the socket, leaving only a minimal gap for the ink to flow through, ensuring optimal performance of the pen. The production of the tips starts with a manufacturing process called stamping. This mechanical operation shapes one end of the piece into a rounded and semi-pointed form. Once the tip is prepared, it's time to assemble it with the ball. But how do they ensure that the tips of the pens securely hold these tiny balls in place? This task requires meticulous attention to detail to guarantee a perfect fit. Once both pieces are properly joined, they undergo rigorous testing to ensure that the assembly doesn't affect the flow of ink. Even with a flawless assembly of the tip, Achieving the correct viscosity of the ink is crucial. In the ink workshop, the master mixer crafts the finest ink in the city, utilizing a precise blend of dyes, resins, and solvents. 
the ink formula typically contains 10% to 31% oil solvent, ensuring the mixture's accuracy and smooth flow without any issues. The ink undergoes thorough analysis using a press that measures its density with extraordinary precision. It's crucial that the ink falls within the optimal viscosity range, neither too thick nor too watery. After analysis, the ink is filled into a plastic tube formed through extrusion and heat. The hexagonal body of the pen is crafted from a durable plastic called polypropylene, known for its ability to withstand extreme temperatures and impacts. Polypropylene is acquired by heating it and injecting it into a mold to shape the pen barrel. Similarly, the cap and tip of the pen undergo formation through injection molding, an industrial process where plastic molding is achieved by the continuous application of pressure and push. This is achieved by extruding molten polymer through a hole, resulting in a cross-section identical to the shape of the hole. Subsequently, the excess material is trimmed to the desired size. This entire process is facilitated by an extruder machine, which can melt plastic material and then dispense it through a nozzle at a consistent rate. Once the shaping process is complete, the pieces are passed through cold water to cool the material. After all the components are formed, the assembly of Bic pens begins. The first step involves fitting the tungsten bowl into the narrow end of the tip. This task is carried out in a large assembly hall, where numerous machines fit the pieces together around the clock, 24 hours a day. The plastic tubes are filled with ink and connected to the tips. Each pen's ink cartridge is injected with precisely 1.3 grams of ink using a specialized machine. Following this, every pen undergoes a thorough inspection to verify the presence of all components and to ensure that plugs and caps are of the correct color. These pens are tested to draw a continuous straight line without interruption, with the ink lasting for more than two kilometers without running out. For retractable pens, an additional step is required at this stage, adding a spring to enable the retractable mechanism. A mechanical shaft is added, followed by attaching a plunger with notches that fit into the teeth of the shaft. Once this process is completed, all assembled components of the tube and the tip are inserted into the pen body. Finally, a plastic cap, matching the color of the ink, is placed on the end to complete the assembly. The pens are then packaged in their respective boxes for distribution and global marketing. In the United States alone, an astonishing 1 billion disposable pens are used each year. If you want to know how wax crayons are made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.